Frank Dukes, a Canadian musician who came from humble beginnings playing a small role in a 50 cent record to becoming one of the most prolific producers of our generation. Composing the likes of Havana, Congratulations, Zero to 100 and Pop Style by Drake who is one of his most frequent collaborators. In records like Pop Style, Frank Dukes uses a simple but luring piano chord progression accompanied by what sounds like a haunting synth melody. Taking this into consideration, I sought out to create a sample in a similar style. Before I picked out my first sound, I was fumbling around on the keyboard and came up with this chord progression. Using inversions can create variation to your chords and I find that Frank Dukes uses inversions as a tool in his music to create depth. The main sound in the sample is a Farfisa organ emulation made by Autoria. I ran the organ through an EQ cutting the lows at around 140Hz and filtering out the highs at around 10,000Hz before adding a King's microphone and a door cassette to create a vintage feel. Lastly, I added a pan man to provide movement and width to the organ. At this point, I knew I needed a lead sound that would complement the organ perfectly. So I pulled up Analog Lab and laid down this daunting counter melody. Before processing, the original sound was way too resonant, leading me to apply a harsh EQ, subtracting all the unwanted frequencies. After, I filtered out the low end at around 237Hz and the high end at around 8000 Hz before adding a 1 4th echo boy delay which created a cool overlapping effect. To add some slight tape wobble I used good Hertz wild control. Then I added a vintage reverb to give the sound its own space in the mix. What was missing from the sample was a catchy repeating melody. I chose to grab my guitar and using only a few notes I played this in. I ran my guitar through my pedal board to get this mystical effect. You can achieve this same effect with Echo Boy, Crystallizer and Degrader. To glue all the elements together, I added two contrasting bass lines, one using a Fender bass and the other using a synth bass from Analog Lab. The first half uses the Fender bass. To add variation to the bass line, I transitioned to a lower octave after 4 bars. I kept the bass dry as it sounded good right off the bat. The second half of the sample uses a synth bass. On the synth bass, I added a micro shift messing with the dry and wet knob to make the bass stereo while adding a high cut 
at around 6000 Hz. For the horns, I copied the MIDI from the organ to Session Horns Pro using the 70s horns preset. I then ran the horns through my cassette tape using these effects to provide life to the sound. An EQ, valve compression, raising the volume, haze making a stereo as the cassette makes it mono, and a plate reverb. Similar to the horns, I copied over the MIDI into Keyscape using the wing upright preset. The additional piano accompanied by the stripping back of the instruments changes the atmosphere from dark to reflective. To further add to the realistic feel of the sample, I chopped up the piano in Fruity Slicer, then adding a door cassette and a door LP to add some analog hiss and warble to the piano. For the final element, I added a perk loop to provide movement to the sample. Using my egg shakers, I shook out a rhythmic pattern, then pitched it down to create a sound similar to jazz brushes. Thank you guys for watching the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed this sample breakdown. I just released a sample pack called Crayons, it includes this sample and 9 others. The link to the sample pack will be down in the description, make sure you comment because I'll be giving away a free kit to one of the commenters. Check me out on Instagram and thank you Cookup for helping me edit the video. And yeah, that's it for now, have a great day and God bless.